In this video, I will show you how to take a GeoTIFF from QGIS and export it and then load it in as a background image for use in City Engine. So one of the problems that um, we have is that if we look in the City Engine and um, our models while our models they look fine it is a wee bit um, breaking the illusion having this map as a background or a, as a, a surface so in order to change that you could have downloaded a also photo when you downloaded the open street map however there is some limitations on the resolution when you do it in that way and we can do it also those auto photos that are available in um, when you do a download it's, they're not always of, of really good quality so what we'll do here is that I'll jump over to QGIS and um, load a auto photo so basically doesn't really matter in this case it's a web service of the Danish uh, auto photos from um, the spring 2019. So zoom into the AI that we're working on, which is mm, approximately this. And um, you can always do it a bit more precisely by using magnifying glass, say some in there. And um, then we just need to export it. So right click on the layer and say save as. That is, however, some things you have to be really aware of here. First of all, we need this coordinate system has to match the coordinate system that we have over in our city engine. So each is, you can also see that um, as a property of the scene, but we have it down here in this uh, display view. Um, information display, which is this bottom one here, it can tell us which coordinate system we are working on. So make sure that they match up. Then you want to make sure that you are not exporting the raw image, but a rendered image. So as we see it on the screen, so check it as rendered. You do not want to create a virtual raster. And you can then say, okay, I want to save it. And I've um, saved it here as my auto photo too. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll overwrite that one. So now we said all the basic things. Now we need, we don't want to export a whole of Denmark. That will be a bit overkill. Um, so we need to say that we only want to export the map extent. So what we see on the screen. So note that these coordinates change, so that was why I zoomed in to get the right area. And then we need to specify a resolution. So in this case, something like uh, 20 by 20 centimeters will be fine. Um, and you see, this is somewhat more than the recommended in, in City Engine, they recommend not using more than 4,000 by 4,000. So this is somewhat more, but I, in my experience, this works fine. And that's it. Now we can export this one. And it will have coordinates in it because it's a geotiff. So it will be this image exported as a geotiff. Of course, you can also use this to put it into reports or whatever, where you need a L photograph. So you can do a relatively high quality of export that way. So uh, let's wait for it. And um, let's pause the video. So uh, now it's finished. It has task completed and exported. So I can go to the file system and I've got this image here. So now I need to go to City Engine and need, first of all, to get it into my um, work area here. So 
So first of all, where what will I store it? And uh, I will store it down here. I also have this book image I used earlier. So I'll store it into images. You could also store it into maps, that would be fine. Um, one of these two places that find images, or I guess maps is most correct. So I'll store it there. Say copy file. So it's physically located in the D drive of my documents. So it's there. And from there, I can drag it onto my scene. And here it's important to choose that you're going to do a texture import. Okay. So if you had it also had you wanted to have your DTM, you could also do that by choosing terrain, but this is just a texture. And note at the moment what I'm doing here is that I have using the flat, so I have no terrain in this image, so I don't have to worry about that. So I have my auto photo. It has where the coordinates from it. So that's fine. And in it goes. And now I can turn off my basic map. And uh, hopefully now, if I look at my models, I get somewhat more realistic looking uh, world just because I now have a auto photo as a, oops, not that, uh, as my, my draping on my ground level. So, and of course, there's lots of more to do to change the building. So this one's going to have a, um, a hip, now uh, it's going to have a mansard roof. So lots of things we can do to to increase our model. But this video was um, basically a very short video that just covered the process of taking an auto photo from QGIS, exporting it, setting remember to set it as rendered image, get rid of that, only the I'll be looking at set the resolution. Once you have your image, you drag that into your workspace in City Engine, and from the workspace, you drag it into the scene. And right here, when you do that, it's important that you choose that it is a texture import. And that's um, basically it for this really, really short video. Hope you liked it. Hope to see you in another video. Bye.